I started investing in building a team in Macedonia, which is again where I'm from. So in that small town of 5,000 people, I started hiring people there for two reasons. One, unemployment rate in that country is like 50%. No one's really working. Average wage for those who do work at the time was about $200 per month. Very, very limited opportunities. However, in terms of culturally, education is instilled in every human. Hard work is instilled in every person. I felt like there was an opportunity for me to onboard some really great team members early days and pay them really well, double the national average. But that would cost me a lot less than having to hire people in the New York or anywhere in the U.S. really. So we very quickly started building out that team. Today, we have about 650 people in Macedonia. We're one of the largest employers in the country. That would not have happened if capital wasn't a constraint. I mean, we went as far as like creating schools, like English courses, because we ran out of people who spoke English. Like we couldn't hire people who spoke English because we hired them all. We started creating English courses. If someone passed the course and they got a certificate, they would then be qualified to work at Slice. Sorry, how do you create an English course? Like you go online and record videos teaching English? Physical schools. Like, so went to the city, like there's English teachers at the actual schools in Macedonia who teach the English language. And I hired them at the time, it was called mypizza.com to become teachers at our company. And they were holding courses. It was like a classroom. And so people had to show up every day. It was free. Anyone can join. Anyone can go and learn English. You didn't have to work at my pizza after, but if you learned and you were proficient and you were excelling in that course, then you would immediately graduate to a job at my pizza.